This GeomathApp tutorial covers the ocean floor drilling portal. The interface for the drilling portal contains a number of integrated elements and we'll explore each of these in a separate tutorial. This first tutorial is an introduction to the portal. The portal contains information and data from more than 3,000 drill holes collected as part of the deep sea drilling project, the ocean drilling program, and the integrated ocean drilling program. To load the ocean floor drilling interface, we go to the portals menu and select ocean floor drilling. When the interface has been loaded, two things appear. One is in the map window, we see gray circles that represent the location of the drill holes. And a second window appears that contains information on each of the drill holes. And here are the information records for each of the holes. In other tutorials, we'll go over the function buttons in this part of the interface. But for now, let's just look at an introduction to the basic layout. We can select a drill hole on the map simply by clicking on one of the gray symbols. For example, so we've selected the hole in the map interface but the table with the information about that hole has been moved into the background. We recover the table by going to the Windows menu up here and selecting the DSDP, ODP, IODP item here. And now we see the table reappears at the bottom and the hole that we selected here in the map is illuminated in the table below. Alternatively, we can select a particular hole by finding the hole we're after in the table at the bottom. For example, let's say we're interested in 33317A. When we click on this record, it illuminates the symbol in the map here. We can select more than one hole from the table using the shift click functionality of the keyboard. Let's now have a look at the information content that's presented in the table. On the left we have the hole ID number and the latitude and longitude. There's the crustal age in millions of years at that particular location. The next column gives the seafloor depth. And here, under penetration, if we make the column a bit wider, this is the number of meters penetrated below the seafloor. The number of cores in this particular hole is given here. And next we have a link that takes us to the Janus database. When the link is clicked, the Janus web page appears. In the right side of the table, which we can see if we scroll to the right, there are columns indicating the existence of logs or range charts for common fauna and flora found in the holes. If a value is false, as in this case here for nanofossils, that means that no range chart exists for that fauna in that hole. And conversely, a value of true, like the ones here and here, indicate that a range chart does indeed exist. We'll look in detail at range charts in another tutorial. Clicking on a column heading in the right side of the table serves two purposes. The first purpose is that it sorts the columns, and the second is that it activates the function that illuminates all of the holes that contain that particular item. For example, let's click the column heading for diatoms. The records have been sorted and we can see that if we scroll upwards, we see that all the holes with diatoms are at the top of the table now. And as we scroll down, we'll switch to records for which no diatoms were recorded. And when we look on the map, all those holes having diatoms are now illuminated in red. Before finishing this introductory tutorial, let's just look at the purpose of the Bring to Front button here. Let's say that we have another layer loaded in the GeomapApp window. 
For example, it might be the NASA Blue Marble image. So let's just load that image. We go to Base Maps, down to Global Terrain Maps, and we choose which of the Blue Marble images we prefer. So let's choose January, say. If we wish to see the drill holes in relation to this map, we need to do two things. The first is going to the Windows menu here and selecting again that DSDP item, this one. That brings the information table to the front. And now if we click the Bring to Front button, all of the drill hole locations reappear. And in this manner, we can layer multiple data sets with the drill hole portal. More information on GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.